And as always, the clock is ticking on the hit series 24. Agent Jack Bauer and the team at CTU are still trying to save the world from a nuclear disaster. Rako Aylesworth plays Michelle Desler, one of the counter-terrorism agents in the series, and she's in Australia resting from a very hectic 24 hours. <laughs> Rako, good morning to you. Good morning. Great to see you here. It's great to be here. Now, you must be exhausted because that show just goes and goes and goes. It does. It's, um, it's amazing. It's, it's probably the most difficult show to do on television. I mean, I think, I think for the crew especially, because not only are there 24 episodes in a year, but they don't know where it's going to head, what locations will be at, and they're landing helicopters in the middle of the street and, and shooting out warehouses. And so it's, it's filmed uh, like a movie, and, mm. uh, but it's, you know, on a TV schedule. So. It's intense. Mm. It's very intense. Also at times been rather controversial too, hasn't it, when you've explored issues such as terrorism, yeah. which, is, which have obviously been, you know, in our lives a lot more than they were a few years ago. What sort of viewer feedback do you get when you do situations like that? Um, different feedback. I mean, mostly people, it's, it's primarily an action show. So I, I don't think there's, um, any political commentary that we're really trying to do. It's, it's mostly, hopefully, um, a catharsis for people's fears. I mean, I know, uh, when they, uh, there was a biological virus that was released and, and that was around the time that there was a big anthrax scare. And, um, and smallpox scare. And, and hopefully people are seeing this not as, you know, because at the end of the day, we all go back to our trailers. We're actors, we're in Hollywood, and it's an action show. Um, but hopefully, if anything, we can just uh, use this as a, as, um, a venue for people's uh, issues and fears about what's going on in the world right now. Now, Reiko, all of us 24 addicts are dying to know, will there be another series? Is there going to be another 24? I can tell you that there will be another series. Oh, that's all I can tell you, though. That's oh, okay. Really? We're happy. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Would we see a few of the familiar I thought, faces? Yeah, I bet there were follow-up questions. On that. <laughs> <laughs> when? And who's in it? No, that's. Oh, that's what we want to know. Okay. That makes us pleased. Mm. <laughs> the other thing I've got to ask you as a, as a, a woman, you're looking very glamorous today, Thank you. as opposed to wearing the same thing every episode. <laughs> I love it. I know a lot of people don't, but I just think it saves so much time. You're like having a uniform, I guess. <laughs> it is. It's like a Catholic school uniform or something. Or some, um, not that I know anything about that, but it's, um, it's great having a uniform for me because there's so much more time we can spend on the actual scenes than mm -hmm. than doing fittings because if you're on another show and you have wardrobe takes up half of your time so it's great to have something you just you get into your uniform every day. Mm. Rekha your character Michelle Desler was married to Tony of course and you know you've been going through some difficult times will you can you tell us will you get back together? <laughs> no of course not I mm. can't tell you ah. but there's always that tension and it's mm. uh, it's good. I, I love being able to play that and just be in that situation with this, this very um, normal couple in love, in a sense, but thrown, thrust into these larger-than-life situations. And I hope that's what I think the audience, for me, when, when people come up to me, that's what they key into, is, you know, okay, you, you love someone, what would you sacrifice? Would you sacrifice national security? Would you let others die for this person's life? Would you, I mean, and it... I think they're, they're really great questions. I mean, I'm asking myself that all the time. Oh, look, I think that's why it's become such a hit. It is a, it's a show we all love. Welcome. Great to see you, because I know that you're out here for the Melbourne Cup, so you will have a great yeah. time. You'll have to get glammed up for that, but that's good fun. So that will be fun. Yeah, and if yeah. Barrett's gives you any tips on who's going to win, just don't listen, OK? Right, I'll give you a bell later for the winners. <laughs> OK. Leave Thanks for coming in and joining us. Thank you. See you in Melbourne. See you.